So, Fred, we were both... We've been talking about the creator for months now. We saw our trailer like months <sighs> ago, and we were like, oh, when that comes out, we're going to review that. We're going to review right. that. And it came out. Here it is. What's your initial thoughts? I was so excited to go there. Yeah. I, I, I went as soon as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. and it was a little bit tough last week logistically, mm -hmm. but I managed to, to squeeze it in, and I'm really excited to do so. And I got in there, and... It's, it, you know, it was a movie. It started out like a movie. Yeah. There was action. There, there was the guy and his wife, and yeah. I'm trying to learn about the characters and everything. But what it turned out to be was a slave revolt movie. Mm -hmm. and, it, and the other aspect that, that it was, was it was a Messiah movie. It had no artificial intelligence aspects in it whatsoever. But the one, both groups called themselves or called the other group the AI, the yeah. artificial intelligence. Yeah. And they weren't. They were, they were dumb, stupid robots. They were so dumb. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I was real excited for this movie. Shut me up. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. Shut I was so excited for this movie. Um, <clears throat> and I was, uh, just like you, I was hoping it was going to be thought-provoking. It was going to, you know, challenge, you know, what I think of AI or something. You know, put me and in, get me invested in the world of artificial intelligence. And like you said, it wasn't about really artificial intelligence. It was about a robot revolt, slave revolt movie. It was a really beautiful action movie. Don't get me wrong. It was stunning. Um, like visually, it was really cool. Um, the weapons were cool. Right. The action was really cool. The robots themselves looked cool. Um, like I liked that they had the face and you know the hollow back of their heads and everything. But the story was horrible. Yeah, the prop guys did a great job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can tell where all the money went, right? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't even think of it that yeah. way. Right. But it, I'm sure this was a billion-dollar movie or what, a couple million, whatever it was. I'm sure it was an expensive movie. And uh, they needed – maybe maybe they used AI for writers. That's, the writer's exact, that's what something. I said. Because it was garbage. I'm yeah, not, it yeah. was it, – it, That's. I thought that was the irony of it. It yeah. looked like it was written by AI. Yeah, the, the honestly, in the first five minutes, I called the whole movie. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I'm not going to give any spoilers. But in the first five movie, five minutes, I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew who everyone was. I knew what the character development was going to be. I knew who the bad guy was, and I knew how it was going to end. And I was like 99.5% right. Right, and and there was no complexity. There was no complexity. That, that thing, that, that first impression you got was the whole story. Yeah. It didn't have like a twist in the middle and now some other thing that, nope. that you nope. hadn't considered. Nope. And all the things like AI you would think would have a unique strategy yep. other than what desperate slaves running from the master yeah. would do. So my, yeah, but, exactly. But it, there was nothing cool. So prior to this movie, I never even really thought about this, but my understanding of AI was always it's going to be faster, smarter, stronger, a million times better than any human can operate. By the time I think of a sentence, it's already written out a thousand, you know? Right, and sent out to everybody. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sent out, they could communicate with each other quicker than I can communicate with you speaking words. They, they think simultaneously. This is not what the movie was. No. It was robots with personalities that don't really <laughs> operate any better than a human. And they um, weren't endearing. No, they weren't. I, I thought, you know, the AI, right? I watched this on a Star Trek fan. I'm like, the Borg would totally annihilate oh, yeah, these. Yeah, the yeah. Borg would have wiped this definitely, planet out in definitely. minutes. They would have assimilated yeah. everything, and that would have been it. Yeah. But there was nothing there like that. And, and in addition to virtually no writing, mm -hmm. there was no, like, even a paragraph in there mm -hmm. that you went like, well, that's, at least that's poetic or thought-provoking. Yeah. But it never happened. And to make matters worse, I didn't care about the characters. I didn't care about the characters too much either. Um, the main actor, um, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he was also in a movie called Tenet, which was like a sci-fi film. Um, and I was really excited. I think that was a Christopher Nolan film. Um, and I was really and excited. you're for good that. about this. Yeah, I was really you excited for that film too. And that was another letdown. And this has been nothing but a disappointment. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave us a review of our review. Let us know what movies we should watch. Give us an AI film that maybe we should watch. Um, and until then, catch us at the next one.